consider the report of the ad hoc committee on investigation of the circumstances of the alleged abscondment of five Nigerian soldiers of the Operation Harbin Kunama 3 with large amount of cash and approve the recommendation that I move, honorable speakers. House Leader, please move that the House be resolved into the Committee of the Whole to consider the bills. This report, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, arises from a reparal sent to us as a consequence of the House resolution on the 24th of July itself arising from a press statement from the Nigerian army informing the Nigerian public of the condemnation of five soldiers <clears throat> on an escort mission with a large amount of cash reported at that time to be about 400 million naira. The House debated and set up an ad hoc committee to investigate and report back to the House. The committee met a number of times and engaged the Chief of Army Staff represented by Major General uh, Abubakar, uh, Chief of Administration of the Nigerian Army. In the meetings, it was reported that five, one out of the five soldiers that absconded was apprehended. And the Commandant General Odili was also in custody of the Nigerian Army. As a matter of fact, he was put on court martial, <coughs> and the processes of the court martial was going on simultaneously when the committee was undergoing its assignment. One out of the five that was arrested compares that they shared the money, and he returned the 50 million naira that was his own share of the money they abscond with. Up to the end of the committee's sitting, the remaining five and four soldiers were still at large. In the course of our deliberation, we made references of the powers compound us by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We also rely on the Armed Forces Act, Cap A2, Laws of the Federation, and of course, the memorandum we received from stakeholders. The recommendation of the committee, the final analysis to be considered by honorable members are as follows. One, the House to direct the military authorities to pass track the compilation of its internal disciplinary mechanism as provided for in the Armed Forces Act, Cap A2, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, to enable relevant authorities commence prosecution of those indicted and recover the stolen money. Two, direct the military authority and all other law enforcement agencies, particularly the police, to make public the details of the five soldiers alleged to have absconded and as a matter of urgency, take steps to apprehend them and recover the stolen money considering that these individuals are highly trained soldiers and if left unattended to, may portend grave and serious security threats to the nation. It is imperative for us to state that the commandant uh, actually suffered a stroke 
um, at the eve of his arrangement before the court martial. Um, Nigerians probably who are following might have seen him attending the court martial in, um, in a stretcher. And for us, we thought of asking for him, but on a second thought, we felt at committee level we might be asking for too much to bring a paralyzed um, person to the National Assembly. If whatever he collapses here, he might be on the head of uh, the leadership of the National Assembly. I presented for the consideration of uh, my honorable colleagues. Thank you very much. Explicit in the sense that you have confirmed to us that yes, money was lost. An apprehension then, one person confessed and didn't return the money. But the money is coming from where? Get out into the account. Investigation should have been, should address that one. A direct listeners. And then specific, so that tomorrow you don't find similar situation. And it is the same house now. I don't understand your question. What are you expecting? I really don't understand. The money is quite very large. One hundred and a uh, hundred million, and then eighty-six thousand dollars. It's quite cash. It's quite very large. For any officer to withdraw this, what was the purpose and intention of withdrawing that kind of money? Because emphasis um, that the man under investigation perpetrated crime. And he is a commandant from what they said is withdrawing this money in the name in court, in the name of paying daily allowances to soldiers on peacekeeping. What he did was not authorized. What he did was illegal, even as confirmed by the officers. So if you ask me how he get money, how can I answer that question? Huh? How you get money? It's a tip, Kawai. It's a tip. I haven't found out that cash was exposed, which ab initial should not have happened. The recommendation here ought to have taken cognizance of that action. Either condemning the people, either the military or the army of that, that division, condemn them for allowing for cash to be so released to an individual which exposed him to such action. Then further seek that such action should never be allowed. It should be in this recommendation in such a way that we'll catch it because we are saying we should discourage cash transactions. If that is the case, even in your constituents, in our constituencies, when somebody seeks for, in the space of one minute, you have transferred, even if it's 10,000, to the person's account. So they should be able to do it in all institutions if we are discouraging cash transactions. That is what the chairman is trying to draw your attention, that your recommendation did not take on the, just exercise patience, exercise patience. Your recommendation did not capture it. So what we can do now is to insert that recommendation. Yes, sir. You know, I had a mind of curing some mischief. And the idea, uh, is to ensure that it does not happen again. Yes. So I believe that uh, the chairman would uh, take note that there are some consequential actions that have taken place here. <laughs> there is also the issue of money laundering. Mm -hmm. You can't carry more than a particular oh, sum of money at a time. But how come that it was possible? Let us even say that the person was withdrawing it on a daily basis. Who was monitoring the dispensation? Because if you withdraw, you ought to pay the soldiers. But if he was not disbursed and he was accumulating it, we, uh, I think the, the idea is to make sure that that does not happen again. So I think the, the, the chairman would also, uh, I think it may be necessary to ask for further interrogation so that some of these issues are cured. First and foremost, how, did, how, how is it possible in the process of military operations 
or in an establishment that you can withdraw continuously and have an accumulation of that. And two is that you are not paying the people. Three is that eventually you will carry the thing and go. There should be recommendations to the effect that this mischief should be cured and it should not happen again. The allegation first, which you have now exposed, was that it was a politician that stole this money in connivance with the military. Now the truth has come out. It is not so. I'm not doing this, I am asking for what I'm asking because we want to cover tax for other persons. No. But that soldiers have had cause through some videos, whether true or false, I don't know, to say they are not being paid their stipends in some climb, in some other areas of the same country. And we find this, I thought we should have gone a little bit so that we now tie all day, you know, to ensure that such thing never happen tomorrow. The first allegation was that it was a governor that took this money, an ex-governor. That was a, and that was what was trending in the newspaper. You have done a good job. And I thank you for that. We all thank you. Thank you. So, you want to respond, sir? Honorable colleagues, to item four. The point is there. One is that at the time the committee was on its assignment, the court martial just begins. And we don't have control over the processes on how long it will take. What we gathered from the military headquarters is that they confirmed the intent of the officer, which is to steal from the force of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. They confirmed this. They confirmed to us that the man has been arrested. Beyond this, they said they cannot give us any other information until after the court martial. And this is how far they can go. I cannot extract any other information outside. And that is why in the recommendation, we said the, how the House should direct them to pass tracts the, that are investigation. And my understanding also of recommendation is for the House to take it or to reject it completely. I, I do not have a... Uh, anything. Chairman, yes. They like they take you. They like you throw it away. We start. Uh, no, that is the truth. <laughs> uh, a little bit. That we are doing this is to make the system better. And I want to beg that, yes, we want to, because we are all in the process of learning and then do things the way it should be. There's nothing bad. Yesterday we sat down here, we scrutinized a report and changed even the face of what was done in the interest of our country, which I believe, with the information you have given us now, colleagues, let's, let's, let's be together. With the information you have given us now, we cannot just take that, that last recommendation. For me, I will I request that we now ask the committee on army and possible defense to follow. That will be an additional work in, in alignment with what has been brought. That will be the completion of a job. Otherwise, we'll have been leaving something hanging that will not help us. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, sir. I think we have to understand that this matter is before court martial. And court martial is a court that is recognized. And I think we should be procuring. Uh... Yes, sir. I think there is either a typographical or spelling uh, problem in recommendation. B. Well, okay, you, see, you are raising your hand. Mr. Chairman, sir, honorable colleagues, James Falake is my name. I want to add, advise that uh, we should restrict, uh, say, based on the recommendation presented by, uh, based on the reports, and allow it and wait for the outcome of the court measure. We are not now interfering in terms of what is going to be displayed in outcome of it. But based on the facts that have been placed before us, that's why we are taking this decision. I think we are doing no harm to the, to the Constitution and we are doing no harm to the principal act that, has been, that is there to establish. I do not think so. 
In addition, sir, in addition to your submission, if going into it will affect the father it's in the court, that would have been their recommendation. That that would have been a recommendation. Yeah. Every other team put here, urging army to fast track. We shouldn't have gone ahead. The need for us to be cautious when it comes to investigating uh, matters of this nature. We should not rush to start the investigation at a time when the authority is doing their own investigation. For instance, uh, under our rules, when a matter is pending before a court or a court martial, we are supposed not to speculate on what will be the outcome by making recommendations or taking some steps that may be adverse to whatever is the outcome of that investigation. We must be cautious. Mr. Mr. Chairman, honorable colleagues, if we condemn, we do this, we do that. And at the end of the day, the court martial comes out with something particularly different. We, we, we should have given them opportunity to exhaust their internal mechanisms before we go. And that is the difficulty you put the, that we put the committee into from the word go. And that is the difficulty they were not able to uh, get out of till now. So I think uh, uh, as much as possible, apart from trying to make sure that we do not rush to investigate when there are internal mechanisms and when they relate to armed forces and other uh, agencies, we should be cautious of the others, the, the, the standing order, which says that we should not go into matters that are before uh, court martial. And I want to associate myself with, 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 the, with the... If in the opinion, the issue here, sir, is that even this report had identified that funds have been refunded by those who stole which is clear here in this report, and which means that a process, the process was so open and porous for an individual to have stolen 15 million out of the, out of the, the lot. So we are condemning the, the unit, I mean the zone for the process, rather than they should follow better process that will not allow this type of thing to occur again. Thank you, sir. Uh, leader. You still have what you could, something to continue with that? You have something to say? The issue of cash, withdrawal of cash. Most of the time in the armed forces, more especially officers that are serving in a, like in a war place or in a, some, some, somewhere, they, they used to withdraw cash and take it to the place so that they will give them on hand. Because somebody who is, who is in, 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 in the forest, you cannot send them, where is the bank in the forest? So, so most of the time, most of the time, like Mr. Speaker, like about three, three Mr. Chairman, like about three, four months ago, there was a time when Boko Haram ambushed soldiers. They collected hundred and something million from the soldiers, cash in cash, because it's the money for the officers, allowances, and welfare of the officers. So there is possibility of, of, of officer to write the name of the officers that he said he will pay them. Then he will withdraw the money and eat the money. That is the reality. So, issue of uh, cash, they, they deal with the cash, more especially the officers that are right in, the, in, the, in, the, in the... They deal with the cash, seriously. Yes, that is, that is observation. Yes. Uh, yeah, statements are semi of facts. We know that in certain situations, that is a reality. But in these particular circumstances, that wasn't what happened. And uh, it was a different intention. Thank you very much. So, Leader, can you move that we we'll back to plenary to report progress? Speaker so, Leader, House, in the Committee of the Hall, consider the report of the Ad Hoc Committee on Investigation of the, of the Circumstances of the Alleged 
abscommon of five Nigerian soldiers of the Operation Harbin Konama 3, and large amount of cash and approved recommendation 1 to 3, and new recommendation 3. Leader, can you move for adoption of the report?